I want to thank you uh, for watching this video. Uh, in this video, what we're going to begin doing is using some of the information that we've learned in the last few videos on um, symbolic logic, truth trees, uh, truth tables, and start to apply some of those to a bit more advanced um, concept, uh, whole, whole line inferencing. So we're going to be doing a little bit of whole line inferencing in this. We're also going to talk about, I'm going to discuss uh, briefly, um, <coughs> some of the replacement rules for uh, uh, statement logic um, and how we substitute um, these replacement rules with respect to particular lines in um, an inference. So this will be uh, replacement rules. Uh, SL is statement logic. Okay. Um, the first replacement replacement rule that we can talk about in no particular order is um, what's known as De Morgan's theorem. De Morgan's theorem is abbreviated DEM on a line. How does that look? Well, it says, for example, if I have, it is the case that not A or B, and I have not a and B, <coughs> excuse me, if I have not A or B and, and not A and B, well, it's the same as if I distribute this, right, if I distribute this negation, it's the same as saying um, not A and B, and this is the same as saying not A, oh sorry, not A and not B, and this is the same as saying not A or not B, right? So it's the same. Not A and B, um, when applying um, De Morgan's theorem, becomes not A and not B. A and B becomes not A or not B. So that's the first one. It's abbreviated DEM. Next one, number two, is material implication and it's abbreviated IMPL um, and basically all material implication it allows me to change a conditional into a disjunct so I'm going to go from a conditional statement to a disjunctive statement how do I do that if I have if A then B um, well remember back of when we were doing truth trees we said that we can turn if A then B, apply the rule for truth trees, and it will go from if A then B to not A or B, right? Well, it's the same thing. So material implication will allow me um, to transform any particular line on um, my deductive inference from a conditional to a disjunct, right? So these are... Uh, this is how it's done, and this is one of the replacement rules. The third rule, the third rule that we can discuss, my eraser isn't doing such a good job. The third rule that we can discuss, so we did um, De Morgan's, we did material implication, then um, the next one is equivalence, right? <coughs> the next one is equivalence. Um, equivalence is the it's abbreviated EQU or EQIV, doesn't matter. Um, it says this, if I have, if A or A if and only if B, well, I can transform this into the following statement, right? I can transform this into if A, then B, right? And, which is important, and if B, then A. So I can take this and transform it into this, okay? So I can take if A, then B, uh, A if and only if B, and I can transform that into if A, then B, and if B, then A. And that's equivalence. 
And then the last one is very simple. It's double negation. Double negation is just dn. Double negation, what we do is we say if you have, um, if you have a double negation of a, so not not a, then I can make not not a a. Right? So these are the same. So those are some of the replacement rules for uh, statement logic. Pretty simple. Um, what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to see how some of these rules apply to um, actually going through and working our steps through uh, whole line inferencing uh, and how can we apply these rules to whole line uh, inferences. Uh, and that should be it. So thank you for uh, watching this video. And in the next one, we will start applying some of these rules um, and you'll see all of it start gradually to come together. Thanks.